Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm weigh speaking. In, in 1864. Well, I'd like you to answer the question. No, Mr. Yes. Vice President, I'm speaking. Please. I'm speaking. Joe Biden said that he believes that law enforcement has an implicit bias against minorities is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. If you don't mind letting me finish, we can Please. then have a conversation, okay? Please. Okay. Let's begin with the ongoing pandemic that has cost our country so much. The American people have witnessed what is the greatest failure of any presidential administration in the history of our country. And they knew what was happening, and they didn't tell you. They knew, and they covered it up. I mean, quite frankly, uh, when I look at their plan that talks about advancing testing, creating new PPE, developing a vaccine, um, it looks a little bit like plagiarism, which is something Joe Biden knows a little bit about. This is important. Susan, I, and I, I, I want to add, if, Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm weigh speaking. In. The difference here is President Trump and I trust the American people to make choices in the best interest of their health. Uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris consistently talk about mandates, and not, not just mandates with the coronavirus, but a government takeover of health care, Thank you. Thank the you Green New Pence. Deal, all government control. We're about freedom and respecting the freedom of the American people. If the doctors tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it, absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. The fact that you continue to undermine public confidence in a vaccine, exactly. if the vaccine emerges during the Trump administration, I think is, is unconscionable. And Senator, I, I just ask you, stop playing politics with people's lives. Vice President Pence, have you had a conversation or reached an agreement with President Trump about safeguards or procedures when it comes to the issue of presidential disability? And if not, do you think you should? Well, Susan, uh, thank you, although I would like to go back. I, I to, think we need uh, to move on well, to the issue you, of Well, thank you, but I would like to go back because the reality is that we're going to have a vaccine, Senator, in record time, in unheard of time. The eight minutes and 46 seconds that America witnessed, during which an American man was tortured and killed under the knee of an armed, uniformed police officer. We need reform of our policing in America and our criminal justice system, which is why Joe and I will immediately ban chokeholds and carotid holes. George Floyd would be alive today if we did that. With regard to George Floyd, there, there's no excuse for what happened to George Floyd. But there's also no excuse for the rioting and looting that followed. This presumption that you hear consistently uh, from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, that, uh, that America is systemically racist. Mm. And that, as Joe Biden said, that he believes that law enforcement has an implicit bias against minorities uh, is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. And I want everyone to know who puts on the uniform of law enforcement every day that President Trump and I stand with you. I will not sit here and be lectured by the vice president on what it means to enforce the laws of our country. Joe Biden and I recognize that implicit bias does exist, Mr. Vice President, contrary to what you may believe. If you have a pre-existing condition, heart disease, diabetes, breast cancer, they're coming for you. If you love someone who has a pre-existing condition, Thank you. Thank they're you, Senator coming Harris. for you. If Nonsense. you are under the age of 26 on your parents' coverage, they're coming for you. But look, uh, Senator Harris, you're, you're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. Literally in the midst of a public health pandemic, when over 210,000 people have died and 7 million people probably have what will be in the future considered a pre-existing condition because you, you, you contracted the virus. Donald Trump is in court right now trying to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. Obamacare was a disaster. And the American people remember it well. There are no more hurricanes today than Thank there you. were 100 years ago. Thank you. But many of the climate alarmists Pence, use hurricanes and wildfires to try and Thank sell you, their Vice bill President of goods Pence. of a Green New Deal 
And President Trump and I are going to always put Thank American you, jobs and American yes. workers first. Joe understands that the west coast of our country is burning, including my home state of California. Joe sees what is happening on the Gulf states, which are being battered by storms. Joe has seen and talked with the farmers in Iowa whose entire crops have been destroyed because of floods. And so Joe believes, again, in science. This administration took the word science off the website and then took the phrase climate change off the website. This, we have seen a pattern with this administration, which is they don't believe in science. You lost that trade war. You lost it. Lost the trade war with China. Joe Biden never fought it. China is to blame for the coronavirus. And President Trump is not happy about it. We're going to level the playing field and we're going to hold Vice China accountable for what they did to America with the coronavirus. This is about a pattern of Donald Trump's where he has referred to our men who are serving in our military as suckers and losers. Uh, she has 15 she, seconds because well, I got to have more to than keep, that. Look, well, you, I'm sorry, but Vice President, look, but you've I, had more time than look, she's the, had the, the so far. The slanders against President Donald Trump regarding men and women of our armed forces are absurd. I'm, I'm sorry, Vice My President. My son is Pence. a captain in the United yes. States Marine Corps. My son-in-law is deployed in the United States Navy. I can assure all of you, with sons and daughters serving in our military, President Donald Trump not only respects but reveres all of those who serve in our armed forces. And any suggestion otherwise is ridiculous. But Let thank me you, also Vice say, President Pence. Vice the American Pence, people deserve, you know, Susan, the American Pence, people deserve I to know. Uh, that, Vice President that, Pence, I did not, excuse me, Susan, the I did not create the rules for tonight. Joe Biden you, you, Your campaigns Trump, agreed to the rules for tonight's I, debate I, with I, the Commission on Presidential Debates. I'm here to enforce them. We will not let anyone subvert our democracy with what Donald Trump has been doing, as he did on the debate stage last week, when again in front of 70 million people, he openly attempted to suppress the vote. If Vice President Biden is declared the winner and President Trump refuses to accept a peaceful transfer of power, what would be your role and responsibility as Vice President? What would you personally do? Well, Susan, first and foremost, I think we're gonna win this election.